Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. Another great, awesome day we got coming up. Busy weekend coming up for myself. We've got um, an event coming up at Hardstyle and many other cool things um, coming up here in Corpus. So I'm going to keep this one pretty short. <clears throat> Just kind of going to kind of tailor off a little bit of uh, what I talked about uh, in episode 22 on, on Tuesday. This is um, an analogy I heard from um, from one of my mentors, uh, Mr. Brian Bulky, one of my coaches, um, one of my good friends in San Antonio. Um, he uh, it, this analogy is more of a business analogy. This is something that he learned from an event that he went to, and but um, and as he shared this story and this analogy with me, I realized that I can apply this exact same thing to my to my life and to my health and to and not just. It's you know you're gonna apply it towards business or your or your job or your career, but also um, I want to really focus on it for our lives as busy dads that are are struggling to to uh, be the husband they need to be, be the dad they need to be, still get in their jujitsu time, still figure out times to train with kettlebells and get stronger. Like trying to keep all that in balance. That's one thing that that we all struggle with. So. The analogy is a rock versus a river. So are we a rock or are we are are we a river? And what I've done with my poor artistic skills is I've drawn this for you here. I'm not an artist, okay, but this is the rock and here's the river, okay? So imagine so ask yourself, are you the rock or are you the river? So notice what the river does. The river flows around the rock, right? No matter, I mean, you've seen like some of these these white rapids that some of these currents are really powerful, yet the rock stands sturdy. The, the rock stands still and it doesn't move regardless of how powerful the river is, okay? So this analogy initially was in business, you know? So, you know, in business, we have two types of people. We have rocks and then we have rivers, okay? So a river, the, consider the river would represent like all of your distractions and all of your challenges and, you know, opportunities to become distracted um, to attain your goal ultimately. And the rock is the person is basically you making a stand and making a commitment to saying, no, this is who I am, this is where I'm standing and nothing can shake me, nothing can break my foundation. And so when you're applying this to business, you know, like for me, we've had very slow times at Hardstyle. You know, the la these last two years have probably been the most challenging for us. The more that we continue to grow, the more challenges that we continue to come across. And so in this time when the river was passing through and all of my challenges of, you know, maybe the slow times or we're losing students or, you know, unexpected expenses all of these are just distractions right and I could have um, just completely got distracted and had a pity party and closed the doors or who knows what right but I decided that I was going to be a rock and I was going to be immovable and I was going to stay focused on my goal and focused on the bigger picture so that's a uh, you know a brief analogy of, of when you're applying it towards businesses you want to make sure that you're the rock the rock you know, you, you set like, this is my time of availability. This is what I'm doing. You know, when we're applying this to health and to strength training and to um, any other area in our life is we want to be the rock and we want to solidify ourselves and say, no, this is where I'm at. And basically all of my um, challenges, um, all of these, you know, the birthday parties and, you know, friends coming into town those are the distractions that can keep you and, and, and um, distract you off your course of where you need to be. So you want to focus on doing is you want to focus on being the rock, right? So when we look at it as towards training or towards our nutrition, you know, like I mentioned in previous videos, there's going to be times when you slip. There's going to be times when you fall, right? I mean, like I mentioned before, I like my, my wings and ice cream and, and pizza and things like that, just like anybody else, just like the next person, okay? But... It's not something that I let distract me off course to where I stay off of that. I get lost in the river and I get taken off, right? 
I'm still a rock and I still stand firm because if I do have, I do slip off and I do choose one of my guilty pleasures of food or decide not to train for the day or whatever, I come right back the next day and I'm back on point, okay? So take, take some time. Think about that. Are you the rock? Are you the river? Are you conforming to your challenges around you, right? Or are you making your challenges conform around you and are you making the distractions conform around you when that, when that log comes down the river at a high speed and it's going to ram right into you are you going to let it deter you from achieving your goal whether it's a health goal weight loss goal strength goal if you're in business um, if you're trying to learn jujitsu and you know things are just always are going to come up right so as busy dads that either run a business or have a career and then trying to get in training there's going to be times when you can't make training that distraction are you going to let it knock you off or are you going to stay a rock and you're going to come back the next day or try to figure out how you're going to get back to training or how you're going to get back on your nutrition plan or how you're going to try to maintain three three training days a week or however it may be so um, I thought that was a really great analogy and that's something I just wanted to share with you guys Um, this is something that I uh, I got from my mentor Brian Bolke he's a good friend of mine and a business partner in San Antonio and um so you can apply this river or rock analogy anywhere in your life, business, health, finances, etc. So take some time, look at, your, look at your life, look at what you've been, things that you've been giving in um, and make yourself that rock. Make yourself the rock, don't be the river, make the river conform around you, don't conform, don't be the river that conforms around the rock. So. Here's an example of how I've been doing it in my in my life in business is I keep a I keep a calendar. So I, I do some things digital and I do some things where I write things down, like my training journal and my notes I keep on handwritten because that's just what I like to do. But as far as like my calendar, I don't keep a like a written calendar. I like to keep a digital calendar because that's just something easier for me to easier for me to duplicate so I block out certain things in my certain I block out pretty much everything in my entire day every single minute every single hour of my day is accounted for and it's it's scheduled and I don't um, I do my best to not change those things for anyone if I schedule this is a time I'm gonna be in a meeting or if I schedule that I'm going to meet with somebody or if I schedule training or if I schedule this is when I'm going to go to jiu-jitsu or, you know, whatever, don't change that for anybody. Now, barring some kind of family emergency or family disaster, I, will, I, I, don't, I don't change those. So once I set something in my calendar to meet with somebody or to talk with somebody or a phone call or go to training or something like that, once I make that commitment and I put it on my calendar, I do my 100% best to not change that and to honor that. So that's where I'm trying to make myself a rock and like, cause it, 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 may, it may come up. You may want your distraction. Like let's say for instance, I set up a time to, to, meet, with the, with, to meet with somebody, right? A good friend of mine or someone I haven't talked to or, or training, but then you may get a distraction of, Hey, can, you know, maybe a business opportunity may try to come by and try to distract you. And you may try to, oh, and try to move your calendar around to accommodate that. Don't do that because then you're going to continue to, that's going to continue to bleed over into other areas of your life. People, if you offer something very, very unique to everybody, we all have something very unique that we offer. Okay. And people value that and it's valuable. If people really want to meet with you and people really want to talk with you, They'll reschedule. They'll, they'll, they will be the river and they will conform around your schedule. Trust me, guys. I guarantee it. I was very like, I was kind of, man, I don't know if I want to do that. I was, and I would bend over backwards and do anything, move my calendar around, meet when anybody wanted to meet. But then what happens is sometimes they start not showing up or I'm there and they're not there or they're late. And um, it just felt like I, you know, my time wasn't being as appreciated. So I began to not budge. I began to say, look, this is when I'm available. You know, and sometimes people want to, you know, have a Skype call with me or a meeting or a phone call or something. And I may not be available for two weeks. 
you know, I don't move anything around the next day if they really need to talk to me. If they really need to talk to me, they'll schedule out with me in two weeks. And that happens to me too. I try to reach out to some some people that I highly respect in the strength community and I, you know, want to get some of their ideas and I have to book a time with them. Um, I have to book a time with them and sometimes it's two weeks out. And you want to know something else that's crazy? This is something that I highly respect of uh, one of my mentors that uh, is helping me with the, with the project I'm doing online is... I approached like, hey man, like I want to get some ideas about a project I'm working on. Would you mind talking with me? I want to kind of pick your brain. Beware of your pick your brain type people. These people that want to pick your brain, the more I'm learning, be careful of these people. These are your time vampires. They're time vampires are people that will suck every ounce of your time away um, and they'll suck as much as you, you will allow them to. Um, they don't do it maliciously. It just It's just become this thing in our, like, hey man, you have a second. Well... My second is, you know, you know, what's my time really worth kind of deal, right? Well, at the end of our conversation, guess what he did? We talked for an hour, and guess what he did? I was like, hey, man, can I pick your brain? She was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Just, you know, we, we'll, we'll talk at this time. <clears throat> and then after our phone call, he sent me a $250 bill. <laughs> but you know what's crazy is that it, it gave me a big eye-opener that he valued his time and that his time was worth something. And I respected the fact that he sent me a bill for $200, $250 for one hour of his time. So um, that really kind of opened my eyes about how I give away too much of my free time and how I've been too much of a river versus the rock. So um, this is something I'm going to be adding into my, you know, my my um, my knowledge is valuable your knowledge is valuable you have something valuable to offer to everybody just as I do and our time is worth something because if I'm helping you do something um, if I'm spending time talking with you or helping you do something that's time taken away from getting things that I need to get done and the same thing for you if you're offering time to somebody else, that's time taken away from other things that you can be doing. And people will continue to steal and rob you of that time, not maliciously, but they'll do it. The more you give, the more they'll continue to take. This is being that river, just kind of, you know, oh, you know, man, I highly, this is something I'm going to start doing. Start billing people for your time. What's your time worth, right? If my time is worth $150 an hour... Um, or $250 an hour, whatever it is, and someone wants to have a 30-minute phone call with me, okay, it's going to be $125. Are you good with that? That's what my time's worth. Otherwise, I can be doing this deal or maybe training this person or, or, or getting a new customer in that one-hour time, right, versus me kind of wasting that time. So this is just a different, a whole different mindset. This is stuff that I'm just I'm learning and that I'm, I'm trying to work into my life, but the main purpose of this of this video, guys, is... Are you the rock or are you the river? Are you constantly being the river and accommodating every little thing and changing and adjusting your life for everyone else? That's the question you got to ask yourself. So I uh, wanted to keep this, uh, sh uh, this post pretty short. Um, I'll just keep rambling on like I do on most of my videos just because I can talk on a lot of these subjects. There's things that are really... Uh, just kind of really hit home with me and, the, and it's just something that I've experienced. So hopefully guys, you get some value out of that. Um, are you the rock? Are you the river? Think about it. Maybe, you, maybe you're one or the other, but you, what you want to be is you want to be that rock and you want to make all of your distractions and all of the other things that really don't matter. You want to make those things to conform around your life. So that's all I got for you guys today. we got a big event uh, tomorrow. Um, we also have a, an event coming up here in Corpus next Saturday. Uh, it's a strong as heck workshop, the swing. We're going to be breaking down the kettlebell swing for three hours. So if you want to, um, if you want to join us for that workshop, it's here in Corpus. I'm going to be shutting down registration next Wednesday. The cost is uh, 97 bucks uh, for three hours of instruction on how to learn the kettlebell swing. Uh, just go to hardstylekettlebell.com in the menu. Click on events and you can register there. So hardstylekettlebell.com. Go to events. You can click on and register there for our Strong Tech Workshop, The Swing. That's this next Saturday from 9 to 12. So that's all I got for you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.